All right, real quick before we get into the video, I want to mention a couple things. One is this isn't going to become like a dog channel or something. I'm updating you on a big change in my life, which I've done a few updates like vlogs in the past, and um, I'm hoping it's well received. I also am going to be doing projects for the dog. The second thing I want to say, even though I said it in the video, I really want to make it clear. Um, don't go out and just buy a dog because you think you may have changed your mind. It is a big decision. In a way, you're not buying a dog. You're buying a toddler with fur. Seriously, think about it. All right, anyways, let's get to it. All right, so I got a shop dog. And I know some of you are like, I thought you hated dogs. And especially the big dogs. And we'll get to that. Some of you are like, what does this have to do with the channel? And we'll get to that too. And then there's some of you that are like, well, what is his name and what is he? And we'll get to that as well. But let's start with that actually. His name is Toby. He is an Australian Shepherd. He is not a mini, he is not a toy. So he will be a pretty big dog. He is 10 weeks old, but don't let that fool you. He is very smart. He already rings the bell to go outside to go to the bathroom, as well as he knows up, down, sit, lay, and he's doing pretty good at fetch. Lay. Good job. Ready? Up. Good job. Sit. Good job. Up. Get it. Go, go, go. Yeah. All right, all right. Got it? Bring it back, bring it back, bring it back. Oh, look at you go. There you go, there you go. All right, so now what does this have to do with the channel? Well, for me, it's just kind of a good thing to have a little friend around, you know? Have somebody to keep me company and keep me busy and occupied and make sure that my audio is in check and keep me from focusing too long. As for you guys, it's a little bit of it's just carrot. keeping up on what's in my world as well as, you know, explaining for in the future. If I do a video that involves him, you know, making him something, I want to be able to explain why. Like, where did this puppy come from, right? Wait, you got a puppy and it's already a dog? So that's a part where it involves you. I will definitely be making some videos that involve stuff for him. You're heavy and that takes a lot of wind out of a guy. All right, so now the big one. A lot of people are going to say, I thought you hated dogs. Okay, so I, I did. I really did. Um, the house I moved into was demolished by big dogs. Um, when I was a kid, I ended up watching a dog that my mom got as a family dog kind of suffer on a leash. And it was quite heartbreaking. So I didn't like the idea of having a dog and didn't like the idea of having a big dog. They seemed to just do damage. The other aspect is the couple dogs we have are pretty dumb, so they're not much entertainment for me. However, I started looking into them. Why? Well, because I'm an open-minded person and the little dogs started growing on me, but they kind of lacked. They weren't very smart. It also helped I came across a video online of somebody that has a big dog and they it seemed appealing. Sorry guys, this video is really hard to do. He's, he's heavy when you hold him for 20 minutes. So, all right, this wasn't something that happened overnight. You know, the other little dogs kind of grew on me. They still were kind of annoying and they still were kind of dumb. And uh, I decided, well, what if I am a dog person? I need to keep an open mind, right? I've disliked dogs for so many years. I'm not truly an open-minded person unless I consider all possibilities of everything. And that's something that can be really hard to do, especially with how many times I've been bit by a dog. It, it was kind of one of those things where the dogs parents, the actual owners, um, did hit them. And that's something that I didn't really incorporate in my mind is that, you know, that's a tendency the dogs had because of their owners. So in truly having an open-minded, it is getting so hard to think with how heavy you are. So I've been bit by a lot of dogs throughout my life and it made it kind of hard. But, you know, in having an open mind and started researching, I ended up finding a breed that kind of seemed nice which was the Australian Shepherd. And the more I looked into it, the more I liked the idea of the dog because of the fact it had everything that was good about a dog and it didn't have everything that's bad about a small dog. This dog is gonna be able to go out with me to the garage. He's gonna be able to go out with me hiking, camping. Um, he should like water if, if I train him right. And he has everything that I really want to find in a dog. So that's where we are today and so far, I have absolutely no regrets. I mean, 
How could you regret that? How could you regret that at all? So anyways, that's a quick little short update video. And um, let me know what you think. What's your experience with dogs? Did you ever hate an animal and now you like it? What helped you overcome that? I'm not just trying to do it for engagement. I'm just, I'm kind of curious if other people have similar experiences where they didn't like something and then all of a sudden they were like, hey, I need to give it a fair shot, right? Anyways, can't wait to get the next video out to you guys. See you then. Say goodbye. Say goodbye, Toby. You don't like the camera? You camera shy? Mm -hmm. What do you think?